Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we've got another low-cost computer to take a look at. This one's a Chromebook from Hire, and this is only $150, so it's a complete Chromebook, $150 out the door, and you are good to go. And I'll tell you what, it performs much better than I expected it to for the price. So we're continuing to see uh, prices drop, but uh, functionality kind of stay the same or actually get a little bit better uh, as we're seeing these things progress. So a really remarkable uh, device here for the money. I was really impressed with it. You're going to see some other ones like this coming out soon uh, from other manufacturers also. I think Hisense has one and uh, Asus has a little stick they're going to be coming out with to plug into the side of a TV for about $100. Uh, and these are all running a new processor called the Rockchip uh, RK3288. And this is a kind of like a mobile phone kind of processor. It only consumes three watts of power uh, and it's able to do some remarkable stuff despite the fact that it is such a low powered device. So as you can see here, we're able to run this uh, WebGL demo here with pretty, pretty decent frame rate here for a 3D rendered uh, kind of thing. So it feels really almost as good as uh, some of the Intel powered Chromebooks we've looked at that cost $100 more. So I'm really, uh, really digging this so far uh, for sure. So this is a great new chip, uh, great battery life too. I was, uh, you know, they say about 10 hours and I think it's probably about on par. I was using it all day today. Uh, the battery really doesn't get hit all that much if you're just doing some of the basics like email, web browsing, uh, word processing with Google Docs and that sort of thing. When you're doing things like you just saw with the, the game demo there, you'll probably chew up a little bit more power, but uh, really not too bad at all. This is an 11 inch display, 1366 by 768. It's even got a webcam up top here for video conferencing. Not the best display in the world. It's a little bit on the blue side. It doesn't have a lot of color definition, but uh, again, you're paying 150 bucks. You're not going to get the best quality display out of it. Uh, the keyboard isn't the best quality keyboard either. It does feel a little cheap, uh, but the keys are adequately sized and spaced. It actually uh, has the same kind of layout that we've seen on other Chromebooks. So it is uh, relatively easy to type on. It just doesn't feel all that high quality, but it doesn't feel like it's going to break. It just feels a little, little thin, a little cheap. Uh, but you know that's what you get for the price. Uh, but the trackpad is really nice actually, very responsive even for scrolling, uh, very little delay when you switch from pointing to scrolling, so I've been really impressed with that. It is a click pad, uh, very responsive and very nice to use. It's got this weird shiny sticker on the front of it here that I'm not too crazy about, but uh, I guess they wanted to add a little bit of flair to it. Uh, it does have external display capability, so you can plug it into a 1080p monitor with the HDMI port here. Uh, you could then plug in a keyboard and mouse through its USB port and kind of use it as a desktop, and you'll see the performance on this is really uh, pretty good for that sort of thing. It has a micro SD card slot here so you could augment its internal storage. It has uh, 16 gigabytes of eMMC storage and of course you could put that card in maybe to store some images and photos and movies if you wish. It'll sit flush to the device because it, it does uh, click all the way inside of it. It has two gigabytes of RAM also so it really is a very complete Chromebook uh, for the money, which is nice. On the other side, you've got a headphone jack here, uh, as well as another USB 2.0 port and a Kensington lock. So if you don't want your $150 laptop to be stolen, you can lock it down uh, with one of those Kensington locks. And performance-wise, it really does quite well. We'll go hit the uh, New York Times up real quick and just see how that loads. And uh, it does, you know, slow down a little bit when there's a lot of uh, rendering to do. So, you know, these, these pages tend to have a lot of uh, scripting and code that tends to load up. So it does take a second for it to kind of get everything uh, going, but it really isn't bad. I really am quite impressed with uh, how nicely everything does load up and how uh, nice of a browsing experience it is. So you can see we clicked on the, uh, the story here and it went right into that. It does you know, lag a little bit as the page is loading in, but nothing, uh, not a deal breaker by any stretch. Um, so it does scroll pretty nicely and renders quite nicely too. Uh, video on YouTube I found runs uh, also very nicely as well. So we can hit up my YouTube channel here. We'll play back this video real quick and you can see how fast uh, that loads up. So it's uh, starting at the low resolution, uh, 480p, probably just given the display resolution, but we'll flip it up to 1080 and maybe go full screen with it so you can see uh, how quickly that comes up and you can see it plays back very smoothly. So really no complaints there uh, beyond the fact that the screen just doesn't have a lot of color definition to it. So it's not, again, the best looking uh, video display you will see on a Chromebook, but certainly the best looking uh, display you'll see for a $150 Chromebook for sure. Uh, on the Octane test, which is a uh, test that I run in Chrome that measures how fast the browser uh, is able to render the page as well as process uh, JavaScript and other things, it scores 7,099, which is uh, putting it kind of lower on the scale these days of what I've seen from other computers, but uh, don't forget this is a lot less expensive than uh, the machines that you see above it. So for example, the HP Cr uh, Chromebook 14 uh, has that NVIDIA K1 processor. It doesn't perform all that much better, 
uh, and costs a lot more, as does the Dell Chromebook, which costs $100 more uh, running with an Intel Celeron N2840. So it is uh, slower than that Dell is, but again, it's less expensive by $100. And I think for a lot of the web browsing and the kind of activity you would normally do with a Chromebook, uh, this really isn't all that bad to use. So I have to say, this is a really, really nice, great battery life. Uh, 1.8 pounds, a so very lightweight to carry around with you. Uh, it doesn't feel like one of those old netbooks. It actually feels like something you can use uh, and be somewhat productive with also. So I'm really impressed with this. So that is the Hire Chromebook, another very, very useful low cost device. And I love looking at this stuff because it's just so exciting to me that you can get uh, something so useful for so little money. So we'll keep our eyes out, uh, see what other good bargains we can find out there. But I think if you're looking for a cheap Chromebook, this is certainly one that uh, will do just about everything you want it to do and uh, keep a little bit more money in your wallet. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.